Welcome, Carol. Thank you. Give me your elevator pitch. I am, as the founder and CEO of the Brave Institute, I empower female leaders to be their bravest selves at work and in life. And I do that through speaking, through training, and our experiential events. So whether or not it's uh, climbing Kilimanjaro or going axe throwing, it's about getting out of your comfort zone and achieving what you never thought possible. Okay, wow. I mean, I know your business and I love your business and I love you. So do I have your permission to polish your pitch? Oh, please. And and that was not a polished pitch. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I kind of wanted to... Yeah, just, give, it, give the raw. This yeah. is all raw. Okay, good. I'm so glad. And you are brave. That's the Brave Institute. You are brave. So um, you talked about a lot of groups of people. Can you tell me about one group that has the most expensive and meaning either monetary expensive or like actual pain expensive, like physical or emotional pain expensive that you saw for any of the groups that you're talking about? I think females who are playing smaller than they know that they're capable of. And what does that cause for them? And and when you say females, is it uh, business owners or executives? Because you said both, right? Yeah. And I think that's my challenge. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it can be more of a psychographic than it can a demographic because a lot of corporate women are just feeling very unfulfilled in what they do. And I think even business owners, they're not showing up as powerfully as they could be. The truth is there's probably every uh, demographic that could identify with what you're saying. But in marketing, they don't self-gather in groups of large numbers in that way. They only self-gather in two ways. One is by their interests, so business women or knitting groups or, you know, yoga mm -hmm. or, you know, like health that they gather mm -hmm. by that or by industry, which is, you know, either healthcare or you have a nurses convention or you have uh, IT. So of those, if you can think about which ones are, do you feel you can help the most of any of those groups? Could I say a group like high potential female leaders? They don't gather by that. There's no such mm -hmm. association. I wish there were, <laughs> right? Okay, so I have to choose an industry? Yeah, or, or an interest group. Some, like, <clears throat> an interest group is, like, women business owners gather very often. Okay, right? corporate women. Can I say corporate women? How do they gather, though? They don't gather by the fact that everybody's a corporate woman. 90% of the population works for an, uh, somebody else, so that would be everybody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, totally. So, like, so even in, in a corporate, you would have to divided into is it law is it you know realtors is it you know what kind of industry women and there could potentially be more stress around certain industries for certain women that could really even serve you so it could be like high tech or technology and women in technology i mean they have huge huge content around that as you know so you could pick that vertical and you could go all in after them. So ta let's talk about the pain of, let's say, t in a tech company. Let's say telecommunications is the vertical that you picked. Okay. And you're at every show they do. You're at every chapter meeting they have. And you're in, you know, the tech girl. And then the women in technology, what is the, how does it come out that they have this problem? What's the evidence that they have this problem? Um, they're not necessarily being listened to by their, their boss or they're not sharing their ideas. Um, I would probably say the admin world. Tech is a huge possibility too, but administrative assistance. They don't get the respect that they deserve. They're not sharing their ideas. Their voice isn't being heard. And what's the result of that? Um, they leave feeling frustrated. They leave, right? So they yeah. leave. And then what happens when they leave? Um, the company is, is, I don't know. The company's worse off, right? The <laughs> yeah. company company yeah. has to pay 100% of their uh, salary to replace them, but also what happens to, depends on who you're confidence pitching Confidence is lost. To, right, but then the woman's own confidence is lost and she has to start from scratch and often she's in the same situation. So what happens as a result? Is it her, there's a diminishing returns on her years of experience in terms of salary? Is it that she, they have, end up having less salaries? Like what's the, the actual result of this problem? Probably salary is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they're not being, they're never gonna get to a level where they're utilizing all their potential. Perfect, so if we could find a statistic, and I know this is really easy because it's really bad, of uh, what percentage of women in technology actually ever don't reach 
their, you know, the, the CEO level or the manager level mm -hmm. and what you do to help. So it, it, when you go into that environment and you say, you're at one of their um, networking events and I'm a tech, a woman in technology, I'm a manager in a technology company. And I say, Carol, what is it that you do? And you say, well, I help women in technology overcome the barrier of, you know, how four out of five of them never ever reach um, you know, a senior level in a tech company. And how I do that is through my uh, Kilimanjaro workshops. I'm making it up. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. does that make sense how you yep. would hone it down, hone it down, hone it down? Now, the elevator pitch is just the tip of the iceberg. This would cascade into your entire marketing plan mm -hmm. so that you would speak at their events. You would blog in their journals. You know, like mm -hmm. it would be like you would be everywhere they see you and you would always be talking about the same thing and you would become an expert of women in tech empowerment and moving forward. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Does that help? Yeah, no, okay. very much so. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having hey. me.